The topology we are going to use in this lab exercise was already introduced in the previous lesson. Similar to IPv4, it is typically best practice to manually configure IPv6 addresses on router interfaces. First, we will configure the global unicast addresses on the links between the routers R1, R2, and R3. R1. Configure Terminal. IPv6 Unicast Routing. Interface Serial 0 slash 0. IPv6 Address 2001 colon 7052 colon E1CC colon A012 double colon 1 slash 64. Clock rate 64,000. No shutdown. Interface serial 0 slash 1. IPv6 address A013. No shutdown. End. R2, configure terminal, IPv6 unicast routing, interface serial 0 slash 0, IPv6 address 2001 colon 7052 colon E1CC colon A013 double colon 1 slash 64. No shutdown. Interface serial 0 slash 1. IPv6 address A023. No shutdown. End. R3. Configure terminal. IPv6 unicast routing. Interface serial 0 slash 0. IPv6 address 2001 colon 7052 colon E1CC colon A013 double colon 3 slash 64. Clock rate 64,000. No shutdown. Interface serial 0 slash 1. IPv6 address A023. Clock rate 64,000. No shutdown. End. Let's verify the connectivity between the routers. Ping Router 1, which is 2001 colon 7052 colon E1CC colon A013 double colon 1. And it is working. Let's ping Router 2. It is also working. On R1, ping 2001-7052, E1CC, A012, double colon 2. It is also working. Let's verify the running config for router R1. Show running config, pipe section interface. Using the pipe and section keyword, we can list part of the running config relevant to interface configuration. 
the no IP address output refers to the lack of an IPv4 address. Even if you do not use an abbreviated IPv6 address when configuring the interface, the running config will use the compressed format. You can have both an IPv6 address and an IPv4 address configured on the same interface. This is known as dual stack and will be discussed in Lesson 20. Most of the verification commands that are implemented in IPv4 can be used with IPv6 by substituting IP with IPv6. Let's analyze the output from the show IPv6 interface brief command. R1 show IPv6 interface brief. The output is similar, but there are differences from the show IP interface brief command that is used for IPv4 addresses. Note that the line protocol and the state of both of the serial interfaces are up and up. Although only one IPv6 address was configured per interface, each interface has two IPv6 addresses. The address that begins with FE80 is known as a link local unicast address. It is automatically configured on the interface whenever a global unicast address is assigned. Link local addresses can only communicate with other devices on the same link. Next, we will verify the output from the show IPv6 interface serial 0 slash 0 command. Focus on the global unicast address that was configured along with a link local address. Notice that there are a group of other addresses beginning with FFO2 below the header joined group addresses. These are multicast addresses that the router is automatically a member of when the global unicast address was configured on at least one interface. There are also several lines that refer to ND, or neighbor discovery, which is part of ICMPv6. ICMPv6 and neighbor discovery are explained in Lesson 5. In the following example, we configure R1's serial 0 slash 0 interface using the EUI64 format. R1, configure terminal. Interface serial 0 slash 0. IPv6 add 2001-7052 E1CC A012 double colon slash 64. EUI 64. End. Notice that the command only includes the prefix 2001-7052 E1CC A012 and the prefix length is slash 64, followed by the EUI64 option. Had the EUI64 option not been included, the interface ID would have consisted of all zeros, which is a valid IPv4 interface address. We will verify the output from the show IPv6 interface serial 0 slash 0 command once again. Unlike IPv4, using the IPv6 address command does not overwrite an existing IPv6 address. IPv6 accepts multiple IPv6 addresses on the same interface. Notice the addition of a second global unicast address on this interface. The interface ID portion was created with the EUI64 format, which normally uses the interface's Ethernet MAC address. But since this is a serial interface, it took the fast Ethernet's 0 slash 0 MAC address for its EUI64 configuration.
The Ethernet MAC address can be verified with the Show Interface Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 command. R1 Show Interface Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 include burned in address. Using the pipe and the include keyword, we can list only the line that contains BIA or burned in address. Looking once again at the show IPv6 serial 0 slash 0 output, notice that this interface has two global unicast addresses, the statically configured address and the address that was configured using EUI64. Notice that both addresses on this interface are on the same slash 64 subnet. So, which of these addresses is used as the source address on packets originating from the router when the interface has multiple addresses on the same subnet? This issue is addressed in RFC 3484, Default Address Selection for IPv6, which is beyond the scope of this course. To keep things simple, we will remove the EUI64 created address on R1. The no IPv6 address command with the IPv6 address slash prefix length removes the specific address. R1, configure terminal, interface serial 0 slash 0, no IPv6 address, end. The show IPv6 interface brief command is used again, this time to verify that there is only one global unicast address on the serial 0 slash 0 interface. The following example demonstrates using the IPv6 unnumbered command. Configure terminal, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1, IPv6, unnumbered, serial 0 slash 0, end. R1's fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface is configured as unnumbered. IPv6 packets that are sent on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 will use the IPv6 address of serial 0 slash 0 as their source address. Now that we are familiar with configuring global unicast addresses, let's deal with link local unicast addresses. The following example shows R1's link local address on serial 0 slash 0 using the show IPv6 interface serial 0 slash 0 command. R1 show IPv6 interface serial 0 slash 0. Because a link local address was not manually configured on this interface, one was created automatically using the EUI64 format. Notice in the output that the MAC address of Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 was used once again, this time to generate the link local interface ID using EUI64. This process was already used in this lab exercise to create the interface ID for a global unicast address on this same interface. Because the same MAC address is used in both of these addresses using EUI64, both addresses will have the same interface ID, only the prefix, the leading 64 bits, will be different. It is easier to use manually configured link local addresses that are more recognizable. So, we will configure static link local unicast addresses on the links between the routers R1, R2, and R3. We will use the same link local addresses for each interface for each router. This makes it easy to recognize the link local addresses on each router. R1 has the interface ID 1 on all its interfaces. R2 has the interface ID 2 on all its interfaces. And router R3 has the interface ID3 on all its interfaces. Remember, a link local address only has to be unique for that link because it is not routable off the link. 
R1, Configure Terminal, Interface Serial 0 slash 0. IPv6 address FE80 double colon 1. Link local. Interface serial 0 slash 1. IPv6 address FE80 double colon 1. Link local. End. R2. Interface serial 0 slash 0. IPv6 address FE80 double colon 2. Link local. Interface serial 0 slash 1. IPv6 address link local. End. R3. Interface serial 0 slash 0. IPv6 address FE80 double colon 3. Link local. Interface serial 0 slash 1. IPv6 address FE80 double colon 3. Link local. End. In the following example, the configuration is verified using the show IP interface brief command. Again, notice that for each router, we have configured the same link local address on each interface. A link local address is created automatically whenever IPv6 is enabled on an interface. This can be the result of a global unicast or unique local unicast address configured on an interface, or the use of the IPv6 enable command. If all occurrences of these addresses are removed, the interface's link local address is also deleted. To enable an interface so it can have a link local address without a global unicast or unique local unicast address, the IPv6 enable command is used as shown here. R1, configure terminal, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1, IPv6 enable, end. After this command is configured on an interface, the router immediately creates a link local address for the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 using the EUI64 format and MAC address from the same interface. We can verify that using the show IPv6 interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and show interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 include burn in address. Now that we are familiar with both global and link local unicast addresses, Let's examine multicast addresses. Assigned multicast addresses are used in context with specific protocols, such as Neighbor Discovery Protocol and EIGRP for IPv6, which are examined in more detail in the following lessons. We can examine which multicast groups Router R1 is a member of by using the show IPv6 interface serial 0 slash 0 command. This output indicates that the R1's serial 0 slash 0 interface is a member of three multicast groups. R1 will listen for and process any packets with a destination address of these assigned multicast addresses. FFO2 double colon 1, all nodes multicast group for this link. FFO2 double colon 2, all routers multicast group for this link. FFO2 double colon 1, colon, FF00 colon 1, this is the solicited node multicast address for R1's global unicast address on this interface. 